What it do, C fam? It's your boy C Will. You man? We back at it with another light, slight video, man. Look, today's video, y'all. As y'all can see, man, I'm back in the Hellcat Red Eye, man. You know, gotta keep that thing right there. You know, the little tag. It's about, I don't know, ten extra horsepower. Y'all know how we get down. Now, but y'all, so today, man, we ended up going pick up the car, y'all. As y'all know, man, I haven't dropped the video, and man, I think it's been over ten days or however long, right? The car was sitting at the shop. Uh, I'd say since April 18th. Shit, today's date, man, is May 6th, all right? So it's been sitting there, sitting there, man. All it's been sitting there for, man, is just waiting on parts, all right? So on the car, I don't know if y'all had new, but we had to uh, replace the clock spring, I guess, and uh, it was some some steering wheel issue components. It was some steering wheel components that we had to uh, replace. Uh, need to get an, an alignment, right? And uh, also, what else, what else, what else? Um, and then it was that one strut as well, y'all. That, that one strut that I had showed y'all in, in the last video, I guess. Um, yeah. So, I didn't want the car, man, to be to be just sitting there any longer, y'all. It's been two whole weekends already, and I, I haven't got to drive the car or nothing like that. The car still is drivable, see, fam, all right? I can still drive it. Everything is driving the way it's supposed to drive, except my backup camera. Like, I don't know. I'm going to have to show y'all, man, just so I can reiterate it from last video. But look, y'all new to the channel, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. I'm finna tell y'all how much I had to pay. Uh, what, well, what the first price was, how much I, I paid now, how much did I have to pay just to get the car? Man, Siri Wallet. How much I had to pay to get the car? All that good stuff, y'all. So look, stay tuned, man. All right, see, fam. Like I said, man, we back in the car, y'all. Um, that light right there is still on. Uh, service electronic stability control. I know that light is on for sure. Um, Cause as y'all know, man, the steering wheel is, is so the wheels are straight, but look at the wheel. You see what I'm saying? And then it's like, if I back up or if I try to back up, the car is already turned. But as y'all see, the car is facing straight. You see what I'm saying? So that's where that alignment come in and the service electronic stability control, my steering and all that is jacked up. But with, without further ado, man, let's get into, I'll put this thing in part two, man. So let's get into, I guess, the pricing and all that, man. Let me, all right, so as y'all can see, man, uh, so I needed a shock suspension. Basically, I just needed one full strut or one shot. That thing come out to 735 right there, y'all. Just with that, you know. Um, and then what? The module steering. I guess I need another steering module, right? 550. So the guy shown at the dealership, he was like, "Yeah, man, there's only like six in the whole country, right?" So I mean, yeah, I, I, I was been supposed to have the car back, man, the week of April 18th. I think April 18th was a Monday, and then um, they it was basically like, "Yeah, man, you know, the part should be here on Friday." I think Friday came, called them. Hey, no parts. Yeah, the parts should be here next Monday. Oh, yeah, you know, the parts not going to be here till Wednesday of this week. Wednesday of this week came. So it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back, see, fam. And I mean, me, I don't know. I've been paying on the car, y'all, and I haven't really been driving it. I haven't paying insurance on it. Nothing like, you know, so it's just a big inconvenience. Like I said, it's not the dealership fault. If it was up to them, I'd have the car back and we'd be done with it, right? But it's a part shortage, I guess. Like, just like how there's a, sh a chip shortage in the United States as far as making these cars, these Dodges, there's also a part shortage as well. So as y'all see, man, so parts and parts and labor, as y'all can see, came out right there at a 1460, man. All right, and then the four wheel alignment, I guess they didn't charge me anything for it. Like I said, y'all, I haven't got no work done on the car just to keep it up to date, man. I just went, got the car because, man, I didn't want it sitting there, you know, longer. And it, it's still drivable. Just got to get it serviced, right? So all that good stuff, y'all. And then I have what well, environmental impact fee, don't know, $8. Miscellaneous shop supplies, $8. So shout out to them, man. They definitely tried to help me out. Military discount, man, on parts, minus 100 um discount 10 percent labor minus 20 dollars and then um total they had discounted me at least a 120 ball uh whatever and then yeah so approved additional da -da 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 -da. so yeah so overall man it was trying to give me an estimate of 2500 dollars all right see fam so just to keep y'all up to date on everything man that's been happening as i said y'all we ended up dropping the car off april 18th man you know um like I said, I'm, I never once blamed the dealership. I never once tried to bam out the dealership or anything like that, man. Perkins Motor, I'm going to reiterate this, man. Perkins Motors, that's why I take my car for anything. Oil change, services, anything like that. I pick them over anybody else, right? Um, I don't know. At first, it was kind of like a misunderstanding. Like, it came off as like, man, they were trying to milk me for the price and everything like that. So, initially, y'all, I was supposed to be paying 2500 
you know, um, I didn't like that price. I didn't think that was reasonable and fair, being that it was under warranty. So, to backtrack, they basically said it wasn't under warranty, y'all, because, like, they, they basically said it was man-made or it was a man-made error or something that I forced, right? Either me or whoever was driving my car, somebody, right? Um, they, they messed it up, right? And, I mean, it, it just wasn't covered under the warranty, y'all. Like, that strut piece and all that, it wasn't covered under the warranty, right? So, I don't want to get too much into, you know, the specifics and all that, y'all. But, hey, you got to pay to play, man. Like I said, I don't dog my car out, as y'all see. Even, even on the channel, right? I don't do nothing crazy like that. I don't really speed. I don't put myself in jeopardy. Do donuts in the car, right? For that thing to break. So as I said, y'all, I still don't know how my damn strut broke. Like, then it's not even the strut that broke. It's the, the little electric wire that's on the strut. So the strut is still in good condition. It's just that one piece that's right there, that one wire. As I showed y'all already, probably show y'all again maybe, but yeah. So as I said, y'all, they was trying to make me pay 2,500, man. Um, went talk to the general manager, the, the service manager, everything to try to get that down. Cause man, what's the point of buying a car under warranty if you eventually gotta goddamn pay twenty five hundred out of pocket? I told him, shoot, if that's the case, I could have bought a fifteen, sixteen Hellcat, threw a wide body kit on it, let the warranty be voided after four or five years, say, and still save me a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But I bought a brand new car expecting it to be under warranty. So I don't know. I think that was just a misconception or things got misconstrued information got whatever whatever so yeah they basically said man like if in the event that we even sent sent that off to the the manufacturer fca chrysler whoever they i don't know they they probably be like nah it's not under warranty so and i mean i didn't want to go through that and then have them send it to them and then they come back and then i gotta wait longer so yeah y'all so it went up it, it went from being 2500 to i guess i had to pay 14 I think 1480 or no i had to pay 1455 today just to go and get the car all right so i mean they was basically like yeah you know we can't really release the car to you unless you at least pay for the parts and the labor right so because i mean that's kind of like security for the dealership right because i mean if they spend all this money on the parts and da, 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 and if i come pick up the, the the car and if i don't bring the car back to them they just wasted 1400 so they basically want me to pay that for the, the parts and the labor just in case maybe I don't bring the car back, you know, that'll give me some kind of motivation that, hey, I already paid these people, hey, bring this car back so we can service your vehicle. So I had to pay 1450 just for them to give me my car back. And the dude showing, he was like, yeah, man, you know, the parts should be here Tuesday. So I don't know, either Tuesday or Wednesday, man. Like I said, it's a part shortage all around the world, see fam. So, I mean, and then me, it's like, I'm impatient, but at the same time, like I'm very understanding. Like, okay, if there's a part shortage, I understand that. However, you know, like it's a big inconvenience to me. It's not my fault, you know, it's a part shortage, nor is it the dealership's fault. So, you know, you just gotta meet them halfway, man. You know, I'm not a hard customer to work with. I'm pretty cool, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But it just starts to get to a point where it's like, man, I'm kind of getting impatient, you know, it's, it's, but I also have to understand it's not just me, right? It's, I'm, if I'm going through it, I know a lot of other people that's trying to get their car service going through it too, right? So like I said, y'all, sometimes you gotta be understanding and you gotta have um, a mutual understanding with the dealership as well, you know? Like I said, if it was up to them, I'd be out and, out and about already. So like I said, y'all, the price went from 2,500 to 1,450 or whatever, whatever it is like that. Like, so initially it was like, yeah, we'll, we'll do 1,900, but um, so I, I might have to pay a little bit more once, once it, um, once like I get everything installed and X, Y, Z, cause yeah, I know alignment costs, but they put alignment as of $0 on the paper. So I know alignment probably gonna cost me like a hundred and then whatever else gonna cost me too, see fam. But yeah, man, I just wanted to keep you on the loop, man. Um, the car is not super duper clean. They had the car stored in their parking garage and all that. And I guess in their birds just poop on people's car. But they did try to clean it up for me and all that, y'all. Um, but yeah, man, I'm finna go to my dentist appointment and all that. It's 11.38, May 6th. Hey, your boy birthday, May 13th, man. I'm finna turn up. So yeah, man, May 13th. Wish your boy happy birthday, you hear me? But yeah, man, um, I'm gonna get out, show y'all the car, man, how it look as of right now. We getting a wrap on the car too, y'all. I'm talking about a full wrap, all right? I think it's gonna be something subtle, something nice, man. It ain't gonna be nothing too crazy, nothing too bright, man. Um, it'll be something to represent me, you know what I'm saying, military, uh, just a little bit, right? But um, yeah, let me get out, man, give y'all a little little uh, view of the car, man, how it looks. No, y'all haven't seen it in so long. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. All right, C-Fam, as y'all can see, bro, we do got the car back, man, in one piece. 
definitely taking this rap off, man. We already dropped a nine hundred dollar deposit, man, for the rap, for the the material and all that, man. So that's gonna come in. Y'all see Colorado Springs, man. If y'all haven't been to Colorado Springs, I would definitely advise y'all to come. It's nice. You outdoor person, man. It's definitely nice, y'all. Got our little spoiler king lip back here. The car dirty, man. They had the car in the damn parking lot. Uh, the whole time it was in like this covered parking lot but the birds and stuff be getting to it man so yeah just wanted to give y'all man look at the car you me see how y'all like it i just got out of my damn dentist appointment dog so yeah feel good to have it back man been going since what april 18th today is may 6th y'all so been a long time they said that the, the parts might be installed by either tuesday or wednesday or i'm sorry the parts are gonna be in Tuesday or Wednesday, so that's pushing us back till I don't know the night, the damn tent, something like that, y'all. So, yeah, can't wait to pull this wrap off, man. The stripes, tried them out, they were cool, you know what I'm saying, dude. He, he did an okay job, as y'all can see, it's coming up right there and all that. So, I thought about leaving the roof black on my wrap too, man, but I'm gonna just take it off just so everything can be uniform, nice one color, man, one uh, style going all the way around the car, but. Yeah, see fam. Hey, I appreciate y'all stopping in. You know, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, man. Follow your boy, see what 23 vlogs on Instagram, you heard me? And um, yeah, oh no, go ahead, go. I'm sorry, I'm right here. Yeah, give y'all one last look. Ooh, wee. Hey, this bitch still look good. Hey, I'll holler at y'all on the next one. Peace.